emergency response, the Irailakan Makunipuka, the Tatak Nan Unsound Emergency, Pagatariela Nuasanki, Mepachio, Takachi, Puran Kapula, O Kamalai Ti, Sinyai Menulta, Sinyai Wedge, Murchavati, O Bilpleu Lulta, O Bilulul Pomo Pon, Socha Maola, Tedala Nankapa. Nialam Chenwari, Sakriya, Riagutri, Sapayo, Kopna Joseph, Pachuan, Kalokutar, Emergency Declaration, Riagutri, Sapayo, Lime Sorayo, the Kalok, Amway Pokon, Makasaleta, Maponpe Kachion, and Iran Emergency, the Kapaleo, Meg Sam, Nikapalan, and Nino, the Nikailail and Kachpin, the Alata, Chichiklan Peel, Rong Pakair, Ankawe Kan, Pachotan and Radio, O Wasan Kapasa Chekan, Nanachiman Kayo and Sagarata, Nan Radio, Kapna Chosa Pachuan Kapasa and Chon Way, Irakan with Tatan and Tan Wasan Naki, Nantakachik, O Pinian Sawacha, Pagasawas, O Chut Sang Chon Way and Sap, Chayan Kachin Eopana, Kachkala, O Kauti, Isis Nani Rayan and Sound Kachpin Kelai Wach, O Pilpaki, Sawaspana o Chuchpana Nan and Saw Kapalwach. Mechi Sabunache programming Walka Kyar Sabukeka programming Kapasa Matmukon of Tasa of San Kapna and Wayne Pompe. Kalam. Greetings everyone. Here is our program of Walka Kyar Sabukeka, a weekly radio program from the Office of the Governor of Pompe State. Governor Stevenson and Joseph first week marked by collaboration, generosity, and emergency response. Ponpe, January 15, 2024, the inaugural week of Governor Stevenson and Joseph's administration in Ponpe State has been eventful, showcasing a dedication to collaboration, community engagement, and swift response to pressing challenges. The week kicked off with the joint inauguration ceremony at the Sion FSM gym where Governor Joseph, Lieutenant Governor Johannes, and the 11 Pompey legislature were sworn into office. A reception at Mangrove followed this historic event. On January 10, 2024, Governor Joseph and Lieutenant Governor welcomed the committee to wait on the Governor chaired by Senator Isaac Arbery, along with Senator Wolfred Edmund and Benjamin Ludwig. The committee extended congratulations and Governor Joseph reiterated the administration's commitment to ongoing partnerships and outlined key priorities for the first 100 days. The same day witnessed Governor Joseph's participation in the joint inauguration of the Sakas Chief Magistrate, Mr. Stanley Ernest, and the 11 Sakas Municipal Council. Governor Joseph personally congratulated the Chief Magistrate and Council members, emphasizing collaboration between state, municipal governments, and diplomatic entities who also attended the event. On January 11, 2024, Governor Joseph and Lieutenant Governor Johannes received a generous donation from Mr. Kiyoshi Koto and the employees of Yoshia Enterprises. A 51-seat school bus for children was donated to the Colonia ECE program, prompting expressions of sincere gratitude for Mr. Koto's long-standing support. Mr. Salvatore Sortino, Chief of Mission for Iowa Micronesia, paid a courtesy call on Governor Joseph on the same day. The meeting solidified the ongoing partnership between Iowa and Pompeii State, focusing on public health, gender equality, small community grants, water initiatives, and disaster response and preparedness. In the afternoon of January 11, 2024, Governor Joseph, informed by the Disaster Coordinating Committee, directed agencies to address the current dry weather conditions caused by El Nino. A state of emergency was recommended, and emergency responders were dispatched to a fire at the Tagachik dump site. Though contained, 
The fire continued to burn throughout the night. No fatalities were reported. On Friday, January 12, 2024, Governor Joseph declared a state of emergency, emergency declaration 2024-01 in Point Grey State due to the dry weather conditions caused by the El Nino phenomenon. Advisories were disseminated through radio and media. In his first radio address, Governor Joseph provided updates on the Tagachic fire, called for cooperation from Point Bay residents to prevent fires under dry conditions, and sought community support during this challenging period. This is our weekly radio program from the Office of the Governor.